I'm kinda lost and fine Into the game and over time Drawing of a new design Drilling now on earth of mine Looking to the outwards Speaking mind about words Absurd Blurred to the curb Walking along the verge Hey everybody, what is happening? Ish de la Ish, back with some more Madden 18 content and today I'm going to get into the Mutt Squads uh, with uh, a couple of randoms here. I think we need like 25 wins or something for Mutt Master if you are going for that after they put out, you know, those team leaders <laughs> and the solos. Marshall Falk, Brady Fitzgerald, that's our guys. Um, I'm going to be on the defense in this one um, and I'm going to put out, I'll put out a few more of these this week. And, and and talk specifically about some good strategies you can use for defense. Um, but today, this one, this was one of the first times I ran this, and oh, man, just a little bit behind. Uh, you read the route a little bit behind on that, but um, and and I think if I know one thing, you know, these guys didn't do it. That that for some reason real popular is running the uh, gun monster stuff. So. I can show you what I used to stop that. It's really not that hard. I'm sure people are figuring out and out, but if you guys need a little tip on that, something that really is the easy way to shut it down, they'll, they'll stop running it. I can uh, put that out real quick also. But uh, other than that here, we're getting uh, with these guys, trying to run just basic cover two sort of stuff. And the play before, we were beat, but I knew we could click on. I told it, you know, um, I tried to tell the guys here again. I don't know if they were hearing me or not because we were not in a party together, which to me is one of the – Biggest downsides is playing this game when you can't communicate to the people on your team. Um, and nice spin from from uh, Marshall. They're only getting four on the first carry. Uh, you know, because that, that that to me is essential. So if you guys got mics and then you're not even bringing the other guy in, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, you know, but you know, that's just. Uh, and if you don't have them, I don't even get that either. You know, it's not not really much of an excuse not to. If you play Madden, which you're dumping money into the game, why you can't get a fifteen dollar mic at least? But anyhow, uh, on the offensive side, when you're playing with guys that I believe are teamed up, you know that unless you can jump on the running back, they're probably not going to get you the ball much. So you know, every so often I tried to make sure, try to make sure to get that. At least I get a carry here and there. And there, oh, whoa, what's he diving? You guys diving, man? So uh, didn't have to do too much on that one. Blocking pretty well, but the speed, of course, agility on this uh, new Marshall Fog. Uh, what's this? 91 overall legend. Very nice, very good feel for it. Um, you know, at this point of the game, that stuff does stand out because they made um, they made a lot of stats on guys so bad this year. You know, like they said, because they wanted to act like they were building it up and put more value into it as we get the sack on the uh, user rush there. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's it, it'll all be brought up you know throughout the season. But right now, the players that come in with that higher end speed are definitely going to be able to stand out. Um, especially when your linebackers are 80, stuff like that, and you're trying to use her around. So that's why I'll, I'm sure I'll make like the Dayon Buchanan and, and probably run a little bit more 3 4 for this sort of stuff, um, you know, just for like squads and stuff like that also. Um, I was, I've been flipping back and forth between 4 3, 3 4 this year, but I think I'm going to end up just going back and probably might just do the Ravens again because it works every year. Uh, it's tough to say because I, I run a lot of nickel and they are very similar to a lot of books, you know, so you can kind of get there, um, you know, either way, either way, really. Uh, second, second seven, trying. So I know the spin move. I know the spin move is good with him, but we're still a little clogged, uh, you know, on that one. Uh, decent, decent average, but aside from that one, not really, uh, not really too, too much going on. But the kick, come on, bra, bra. We're on the 28 yard line, and and we can't make field goals. Yeah, <laughs> and, and I don't know what it is, you know, because I can't see. I wish you could see at least the bar and stuff like that, even if you're not the one controlling it. A little bit more insight, what's going on. Or like, say, if you're on a receiver and you're running a route and they throw and complete a pass that you can't see as the, as my heat gets in, then I wish they would zoom out, let you at least see, so you can go make some more helpful blocks and stuff like that. You see the pressure coming strong right there, uh, and 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 the guys got good coverage. We're going to get the interception on that. <coughs> Excuse me. The biggest trick I had was getting these. I was trying to set up some blitz, some fairly basic blitz, Tampa two blitz stuff like that, and. Um, and the, and the guys would keep jumping on and moving players around. And, again, when you're not communicating with people, it makes it very hard. So every so often I would get that coming in. As we split that right there, try to get one little shoulder on the guy, slow him down, and probably would have scored either way. But uh, we get the points real quick. So, I mean, at least with randoms, you know, it's – Offensively, in a few of the random games I had, ugly, ugly stuff. You know, you you know, you gotta pretty much hold them down 
for the most part, unless you uh, end up with a quarterback who at least knows what he's doing and uh, you know can at least keep drives going. Um, otherwise, you might be safe just getting a, a decent run game with it. But you know, it's it's all going to be hit or miss. Uh, you know, the, the way that I'm doing it right here. Uh, try I'll try and oh. Man, I know that I almost got a pick on that, and then it turns up that you know dudes end up breaking that one. But that's that is a big difference this year um, and previous years. Again, there's that that depth. You know, I mean, last year five yards ahead of the guy, I still jump up and snag that ball, and this year it, it goes over my head, which is which is good. It's more realistic. I've said that. I really like that. Um, I mean, you get a jump ball because they had a, uh, a defense, so he, you know, uh, uh, encroachment. So he throws me, he throws me the ball that time. So that's cool. Uh, and 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 again, though, with the routes, like see that I'm running them soft. I, I wasn't even getting the uh, cuts down. I was like the, one of the first times I played, so I, I had to pull up afterwards the wide receiver uh, moves just to just to get the that used to that later in other games because I think that's the big thing is um, without without those cuts, especially they lock you up in man and stuff. You can be stuck on there, man. And I mean, if you don't get the cuts in there, they will man up, follow you around. You are not shaking those guys. So we get here. Uh, second half starting, first carry, going to go out to get the spin, nice cut in and back out. And then we get a nice key block just, just to seal that. And Marshall with a big one. And that right there, that right there, man, I mean, for me, I'm like, that's what I want to see. That's that's kind of like uh, Madden 16, 15-ish. Um, I think... Th- I, I really like the jukes. I really like the spin. What I don't like is how even if you are user controlling a defender and somebody hits one of those moves, your guy just stumbles and dives on the ground. I, I really think that's absurd. It's horrible. It, it overplays stuff like that. You are the one controlling it. If you make a you know bad hit stick move or something, I get it. But the fact that like it, you can have three people get juked out and and you not even actually react to a cut to me is it's it, I I consider that overpowered. I think it's a little bit too strong. But you know, and hopefully they tweak that um, at some point this year. You know, and early in the game, you know how that goes. There's we're gonna go through a couple of these uh, updates where they're gonna have to fix some of the gameplay because you know it's Madden EA. They never get it right the first time. That's just the way it goes. Uh, I don't know what their testing consists of, but you know it doesn't take m- most people uh, very long to figure out things that are kind of off with it. Lurk Squad donation. Much appreciated as always for the contribution. Uh, Reggie Nelson, little user action, uh, fourth down. Anyhow, they don't get any points out of that. Um, you know, we had our guy DC, I think, in the you know right right before halftime, somewhere around there. Uh, so we were rolling two, and we get the ball. I'm gonna take this up the middle. I'll get the A spin off another break. And come on, dude, that, that just ain't right. That's what I'm saying. Like, how ah, Marshall's just killing these guys. Um, yeah, I mean, at least you know that's a that's a t- tackle battle. I, I noticed, like, even in this game, you can get hit with very little momentum at the line of scrimmage and still fall forward and carry a guy for like four or five yards. There are definitely some things I really hope they tweak and fix. That being one of them, running is too much. You're going to bring that out from deep. I don't know if I advise that. It's a fumble. Fumble layer. And as expected, two of the guys uh, quit right there. One more play here, but that will be that. And thanks for checking this out, guys. So will get some more out here. And again, we'll a little bit more focus on the defensive play calling next time. Peace.